There is an important difference between killing in defense and waging war. Even a Gentile like you should know that. Joshua is a living Bible of all mankind's miseries of war. The debt he has levied through his actions, he repays every day. He is a monument both to God's unending forgiveness and to humanity's unfathomable capacity for cruelty. It's written on every inch of his body. When you look at him, do you only see a man of God? Beneath those bandages, he is burned flesh. As he burns, so does he consume everyone around him. It never stops burning. My skin. Every day I have to unwind the bandages and replace them with fresh ones. Exposing my body to the air is like living through it again. But it's better to be clean than comfortable. I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. The next morning, I woke up and crawled out of the northern edge of the Grand Canyon, that cursed place. It took me three months to reach New Canaan. It was as though the prodigal son had returned. They welcomed me like I had never left. Never done anything to shame them. The fire that had kept me alive was love. Their love. God's love. I will never be able to repay the debt I owe to them. But I must try.